Alrighty, hi everybody. Um, ignore if I have pain in my hair, ignore if I look tired. I've been painting for like four days. Anyways, so today I kind of wanted to show you guys everything that I bought for the house brand new. Obviously being a college student, I don't have a ton of money to spend because I am paying for my tuition, but I still got a good amount of things. Um, majority of it is from Target, Marshalls, Walmart, and then I got a few things from Dollar General just because it was cheaper. But I'm going to kind of split it into categories. Um, so kitchen, bathroom, dogs, miscellaneous, stuff like that. And if I can get the prices to everything, I will put it on the screen. I can also try to link it. Sometimes with Marshalls, that's kind of hard just because you never know what's going to be in there. So I will try, but let's get into the video. So first thing I got, I want to say at least eight of these gray plastic cups. Um, some are from Walmart, some are from Target. This I do know the price off the top of my head because it was cheap. Um, this was only 50 cents each, so I did not spend much on that, which was really nice. Um, and I feel like you can never have too many cups or bowls or plates. So and then here, oh gosh, look like a hot mess. Just ignore it. Like I said, we've been moving and painting and a lot. Okay. And then here are the bowls. Um, they're pretty deep actually, which is nice. I'm kind of nervous about putting anything hot in it. These ones are from Target. Yeah, a little nervous about putting anything warm in it. But anyways, these were 50 cents as well. Just nice to have. This is also part of that 50 cent group um, for dishware. And these are just plates. They're ginormous. They're bigger, they're bigger than my head. Um, but yeah, these will just be nice to have, especially, I don't know, I, we have some glass plates that came from where we were living before, but I honestly just like having plastic because it's more durable and if I want to take it outside or, you know, having dogs, if you accidentally drop it, if they bump into you, it's just a lot easier. Again, still on the very basic um, needs. So I got a four pack of forks and these are from... Walmart. They actually have, it's this brand called Mainstays and it's pretty cheap and it actually seems like it's going to hold up pretty well. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I did get eight of these so I got two of these packs just because I feel like people just lose silverware over time. I don't know how. So yeah, I got these. And then here are the spoons. These did come just in singles, which I thought was kind of weird, but they were cheap anyway, so it didn't really matter much. Um, so yeah, got the spoons, and then lastly, butter knives. This one did come in a pack. This is a pack of three, and again, it's that Mainstays brand. So I can also let you guys know kind of how they hold up, if they rust, any of that kind of stuff, just because you never know. And then to hold that stuff in the drawer, I'm a very organized person, so the second that we found out we were getting the house, I knew I needed to get one of these. And it is just one of those uh, drawer organizers. They did have a smaller one, this is from Marshalls, they did have a smaller one um, that just had, I want to say these four categories, but I thought this would be nice for like straws or... Um, any like serving, I'm gonna hold it this way, any like serving utensils. And then not quite sure what I'll do, is that hair? Yes it is. Not quite sure what I'll do with the top one yet. I might just put like measuring cups in it or something like that. Um, maybe some small utensils. Like I said, not super sure. But again, eventually you guys will find out about that. Okay, and then this next one, I watch um, Baby Hay, and she talks about how she almost cut like something really bad in her hand or her wrist while she was cutting an avocado. I've always been a little hesitant about it now, so I found this at 
Marshalls and like I said a lot of this is gonna be from Marshalls but it's an avocado slicer and it was only four bucks so I don't know I thought I'd get it and try it out who knows if I'm really gonna like it but I just thought I'd give it a try needed to get a pack of scissors sorry there's a lot of glare needed to get a pack of scissors just so we have one in the house and these are kitchen ones so yeah I just thought they'd be nice I'm probably gonna get a pair of like office scissors or like craft scissors I guess you could say um, just for random stuff and then keep these ones in the kitchen but I thought it'd just be nice to have and especially like I don't know scissors and tape are two things that I feel like you think you have in a house and then when you need them you can't find them so I just wanted to make sure because I thought I had a pair but I just wanted to make sure that I bought a new one so I was absolutely positive this is here, I might have to put this one a little closer so you guys can see. It's two different things. It's um, a sink stopper for water and then like a drainer pretty much. So in case we uh, have something with food in it. So when I'm doing dishes, I can put this in the sink and not have to worry about any um, food falling down the drain and stuff. Just because we don't have a garbage disposal which kind of stinks, but yeah, so I ended up getting these, and they're just a really pretty, um, like, dark, I don't even know what you'd call that, to, like, a dusty blue, dark blue, something, I don't know, like, gray blue. So this is just a, um, like, sponge holder, so it's got little suction cups on the back, and you just stick it to the inside of your sink to the side of your sink and then you can put your sponges in it i've got these so it's just a pack of um magnetic clips i probably i mean obviously with the magnets on them you can put them on your fridge but i'm probably gonna use them more for um like chip clips or as like chip clips for bags and stuff like that just because I don't have any and I need them. So I thought I would get this. Also saw this at Marshalls. And then we have two, gotta like get way far back to show you this one. Two mixing bowls, pretty big. I like to bake. I am, I like to cook. I'm kind of still working on it. Um, but you definitely need something like this when you're baking or cooking or whatever. So I thought I would get these. Also found these at Marshalls. Spatula. This is from... This is from Walmart. Um, honestly, and I might say this a few times in the video, but Walmart has such cheap but good options if you're looking for your first home. Um... If you're trying to shop for your first home or apartment, just they have the essentials and they are at really affordable prices. So that's definitely nice. And then can opener. I don't even know if it's not really focusing on that. It's focusing on my face. Um, just a can opener. Obviously pretty self-explanatory. Just need one of those. Next thing is this little turntable. I can't do it very well on my hand, but you just set it down on like a counter or um, a cabinet and then you can spin it. I thought this would be really good for spices um, just so I can kind of rotate it because I didn't get one of the spice racks just because they are a lot more expensive than I was anticipating. It was like, I think the cheapest one that I saw was $40 and I was not about to spend that on spices that I probably wasn't going to use half of them. So, thought I'd get this. Also kind of inspired by the home edit. Because they always have something like this. Um, so yeah, I thought that that would be good. Oven mitt and then, I think these are called like hot pads. Something like that. That's what I'm calling it. Um, these are from Target. They were actually pretty cheap. I'm a little nervous. Like, I trust the hot pad. But I'm a little nervous that this is going to be too thin. Um, I saw a couple reviews that said something like that, but also a lot of people didn't have an issue with it. So I guess we will see how that goes. And 
I mean, worst case scenario, I can get a new one, but like I said, these weren't very expensive. This is from Walmart. This, so it's the Better Home and Garden. Let me see. Better Home and Gardens. This is one of my favorite brands that Walmart carries. I just think it's so cute. I also bought, I'll have to insert a picture of our bedspread and sheets or our comforter and sheets because I'm not about to take them off the bed. Um, but I put those on there and our sheets were actually better home and gardens. And when you bought the sheets, you got a year subscription to their magazine, which I'm so excited about. But anyway, so yeah, I got these and they're just gray checkered towels. They're really cute. And I just thought about putting them um, either over the drawer under the sink or the, not the drawer, the, what's it called? The cabinet under the sink, kind of looping it in there or putting it over the oven. I'm just nervous that my dogs are going to rip them down and I've never been so attached to towels because I just think they're really cute. This is another towel. Just says, be happy on it. I think it's so cute. Um, This one is really thin, so it's not really for like, um, like I probably wouldn't use it to dry dishes or dry my hands or anything. It'd probably just be for decoration, but I just thought it was super cute. And so the second I saw it, I had to get it. And this was, um, this one was also from Walmart. Anyways, here is, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to back up so much for this. Ugh. There's that. This is one of those drying mats for dishes. Um, Sometimes people just lay out towels or get one of those metal racks and I might still get a metal rack to put on top of this, but it's just um, thicker. It's kind of padded here. Let me see if I can kind of show you. Yeah, so it's thicker and it's kind of squishy. Um, so yeah, it, it's just nice to put dishes on and it's really big. Like I said, I can't even really get it in frame um so i'll just have it on the countertop next to the sink so when i'm doing dishes i can just put the dishes on there and then actually now we're at two more things so this is just a big thing of um it's just measuring cups a bunch of them we had measuring cups prior and I brought them with us but I had random ones I think I had like one cup a half a cup and maybe like a fourth of a cup and that was the extent of it so I just thought it would be best to start fresh and get a whole new one of these and these are from Walmart my last kitchen thing is also from Walmart it is just a let me see if it'll focus on it hopefully it will focus let's see there we go <clears throat> so it's just a countertop wrap it's like adhesive and you just stick it over top of your countertop this one's marble I got two of them um but when the people that had this house prior were kind of doing some renovations they put in a brand new countertop with like cabinets on one side of the kitchen and it's a marble countertop that looks super similar to this and then the other side is probably what was in the house originally so we got the wrap and we'll stick it on there just so they match I mean it's probably not going to be a perfect match and you might be able to tell that it's stick on but as long as it's somewhat cohesive I'm fine with it okay I lied I have two more kitchen items now, so let's do this one. They were hiding. So this is just uh, a Ray Dunn um, grocery list. I kind of wish it was magnetized. I might get like a sticker magnet to put on the back of it. But I just thought it was really cute. And for me, it's a lot easier to go to the store with um, like a paper list versus having one on my phone. I don't know why. But I just would so much rather write down, and this is for any lists, I would so much rather write down lists on paper versus 
um, on my phone. Sometimes I do if I don't have paper on me. But anyways, this is just a lot easier. And can you guess where it's from? Because it's from Marshalls for sure. And then lastly, I'm so excited for this. A lot of times, here, let, I'll show you what it is. So it's an avocado pod is what it's called. And it basically has just got a stretchy thing in it. I kind of want to show you. Oh, okay. We're just going to take this thing off. So it's got this like, yeah, that's probably the best way that I can show it. This stretchy thing. So what you do is if you have half an avocado, you put it in there and it like seals to the avocado. Um, so I was really excited about this just because when I use avocados, a lot of times I only use half of them. So I thought that this would be good um, because they just, they get brown so quickly and I've tried putting them in water because that's what it says online to do is to put them in, submerge them in water, um, cold water and then put them in your fridge. But then they just get mushy and nasty. So I'm hoping that this works. Now we are finally done with the kitchen and the rest of this is gonna go by so quickly because I did not get that much for anything else. This is, oh, you can even see the price on it. So this is 15 bucks. This is a shower curtain from Marshalls. Just this really pretty, it looks gray on camera, but I promise it's like an oatmeal color. So it's a really pretty like oatmeal tannish color. I wish you could see it on the camera, but of course you can't. Um, and it's just like a really thick fabric material. I don't know. I kind of just wanted to invest in like a nicer shower curtain just because I think it's going to look really pretty in there. So I'm excited for that. I've just got to figure out kind of, that's a one, one of the rooms that I really just don't know what I'm doing with it yet. I kind of just got some random stuff. It was like, okay, this all looks like it's going to work together. So let's just do that. But anyway, so yeah, here's the shower curtain. I got an 18 pack of washcloths. I don't normally use washcloths. I'm much more of a, uh, for myself, like a loofah. I call them poofs. I'm much more of a poof person, but I thought it'd be nice if we have guests or if we need washcloths to clean. A lot of times I use microfiber cloths, but sometimes you can just use these as kind of like a junk thing and just throw it out after, and they were pretty cheap. So I got some of those. I got four towels. Um, these are like a tan color. It's definitely picking up better on camera this time versus the shower curtain, but I just got four of these. We had towels before, but they just got nasty and I feel like that happens with towels pretty quickly and they were cheap. So these ones are cheap too. So I don't know how long they're going to hold up, but at least we have some new ones. Um, so yeah, I got four of these. I forgot I got a vegetable peeler for the kitchen, but I'm not going to talk about this because I already went on and on about the kitchen stuff. And then this, I think it's so cute. So it's a little mason jar soap dispenser. I got one to put in the bathroom. I think I might get another one for the kitchen just because I love them so much. And Marshall's had a bunch of mason jar stuff, which I'm probably going to go back for. I just was trying so hard to not buy it all. I want to go back and get like more decor stuff. Um, but I cannot until I can get all of this stuff put away and figure it out and kind of have more of a theme because right now it's just madness. But let me see if I can show you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look, see, it's so cute. So it just says Mason, um, just says Mason Craft and more. And then this side has a little measurement thing. And then it just is the same on those sides. This is gonna be huge too. 
it's this little sh no it's not little it's this huge <laughs> shower caddy um and it just hangs over the shower head and then you can put soap and more soap and soap and then poofs loofahs whatever on the bottom of these okay and then i'll show you the dog stuff so i only got two three dog things right now one of them is not even like for the dogs it's for me but i'm gonna show you anyways it's a little dog mom hat i feel like i look like a trucker in hats but i have wanted it so bad for so long and it was still there when i went to get some house stuff so it was just meant to be clearly so yeah i got that and then I got a little dog frisbee. I think it's so, it's so cute. This brand is super cute and they always have a bunch of stuff at Marshalls. So I got this for the doggos. We have a much bigger yard now. So I just thought it'd be fun. I don't think they've ever played with a frisbee. So I just thought it would be kind of fun to get that for them and it was cheap. I cannot even be in frame to show you this. Just a Smith Hardware, and it's this cute little box, also not little, should not have said that. Anyway, so I got this box. I'm kind of thinking about putting the dog's toys in it. It's this little barn, focus, okay, there we go. It's just this little barn wax warmer, it's really cute. I don't know if I'll put it in the bathroom or the kitchen yet. I'm kind of leaning towards the kitchen, but we'll see. And and I do have another wax warmer um, that I've had for a long time, actually. But I just want to be able to have wax warmers in different rooms rather than burning candles. Just because I feel a little bit better forgetting about this than I do forgetting about a candle that has an open flame. Okay, and these two I'm going to show together. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love Method Cleaner. Um, one day I would love to be sponsored by them to do a sponsored video with them just because I love their brand. It's clean. They can tell you what all of their ingredients are, where they come from. Um, so I just, I feel good using it. I feel comfortable using it. I feel comfortable using it around myself and my dogs and my friends. Um, so these are what I got. They're such a pretty green color, but this one is the all-purpose cleaner. Let's see if it'll focus. There's a glare. I'm sorry. You can see my window and all of my boxes. But um, this is the... Oh, there it is. Okay. This is the lime and sea salt scent. And that's the same thing with the dish soap. Um, they're both lime and sea salt. I will say, just to be completely honest, it's not my favorite scent that I've ever got. I don't know if I'll get it again, but I'm still going to use them and I will not have any problem using them up probably pretty quickly. Um, although I will say, and, and this is something that's also really nice about this cleaner, I clean constantly and I do... Um, some of you have probably seen the video on my channel, that kind of Sunday reset where I clean everything on Sundays, um, kind of more of a deep clean. I, I wash bedding, I vacuum, I mop, I sweep, I dust, just everything. I clean the windows because first off, I am a germaphobe. I also don't like clutter. I cannot stand dust. I have really bad allergies. And when you have dogs, and when you have dogs as well, you know, that stuff is just amplified on top of the fact that I'm totally allergic to my dogs. So I just, I have to clean. Otherwise, I'm a hot mess in more ways than one. So the second I knew that we were going to be getting a house, 
I looked at cleaners and this is not even my full list of method stuff that I still want. Um, but I thought I would use up some of the old stuff that I had and then start trying new scents, investing in different kinds. So next up we have a here, let me put it up here so you can see. It's a glass diffuser. I haven't even taken it out of the box. This is what it's supposed to look like. It comes with, let's see, what does it say? Frosted glass shell, 14 color LED technology, which happens a lot, um, which, is, which is normal with diffusers. A lot of them have different lights light options. Uh, it looks like they have timers. It looks like they have a timer on it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's normal with it. That's really all that I'm seeing. I'm really into essential oils. I think this one comes with one, but I most likely will not be using that essential oil that it comes with just because I'm kind of picky about my oils. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to use this. I also don't know where I'm putting this. I think I might put it in the bedroom or here in the office, which is the room that I'm in right now. Um, and I do have other diffusers as well, same way I have that wax warmer. So we'll see. I feel like I use diffusers a lot more when the weather's warm and candle warmers a lot more in the winter, just because to me they're cozier. Um, but I definitely use both year round. The little lights and timers. It's definitely not my favorite, but it's a working diffuser, so I'm not upset about it. Um, and I'm sure I will be getting more in the future. I would like to have one for almost every room, or at least rooms that we're kind of in more often because we have a room for the dogs and then we have a room for Jerry's like hunting stuff. So I will not be spending a lot of time in those rooms and the dogs really won't either. Like the dogs just have their kennels in there. So yeah, there's the diffuser. And then lastly, we're ending on such a not interesting note at all hangers 18 pack of them i did get two of these i've already used up one because that's how much stuff that i have um but i definitely run out of hangers super quickly and lose them and whatever i don't even know how things just disappear and i i have no idea where it goes so that is everything that I got for the house. There will be plenty more to come, I'm sure, but it's kind of just going to be things that we get gradually. But I'm sure you guys will get updates and see all of that stuff because now that we are in a new space, I really do plan on making videos more. Our living situation is definitely a lot better, a lot healthier, so you're going to be seeing more of me and that's why I had taken so long of a break. Um, so I'm sorry for that. I, I know that people have kind of been asking when I was going to post again and I really do want to be able to put more time and energy into my channel because it's something that really makes me happy and something that I really enjoy. And I, I really love talking to other YouTubers and kind of just getting to know other people other than who's in the small county that I'm in in Michigan. So yeah, anyways, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not. Comment on any other videos you'd like to see or maybe what your favorite thing was from this video. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Bye everybody!